My name is Dr. Igor Koralnik. I'm chief of the Division of Neuroinfectious Diseases and Global Neurology at Northwestern Medicine and the co-director of the Comprehensive COVID Center. The Northwestern Medicine Comprehensive COVID Center was created in 2020 as a pragmatic effort to care for a completely new group of patients, those affected by long COVID. Patients affected by long COVID have persisting symptoms lasting more than four weeks after acute COVID-19, and those symptoms affect their brain, their lungs, their heart, their gastrointestinal tract, and other organ. We provide a personalized approach to the patients at the Comprehensive COVID Center depending on their initial symptoms of long COVID. These may be restricted to the nervous system or affect also the lung and the heart and every combination uh, in between. Our study really showed that long COVID is not a one-size-fits-all. You have different category of patients, including those who had severe COVID-19 pneumonia, often requiring intubation in the ICU, who may have permanent organ damage once they are coming out of the hospital, and they need personalized and specialized care. On the other hand, you have people who had a mild case of COVID-19, just sore throat, cough that went away, but thereafter developed those lingering problems, including brain fog, fatigue, exercise intolerance, affecting their quality of life and their ability to work. The non-hospitalized population of patients is usually much younger, didn't have any disease before developing long COVID, and they need a different type of approach than uh, those who were hospitalized for COVID pneumonia. We just published a study of the patient's experience during the first 21 months of the Comprehensive COVID Center, where we uh, surveyed more than 1,800 patients in more than 2,300 new patient visits, and we looked at patients' uh, utilization of the various specialty clinics. We found that 49% came to neurology, 25% came to pulmonology, 12% came to cardiology, and the rest went to the other clinics of the center. We also found that 17% of patients went to multiple clinics, including from one to six clinics total. This indicates that long COVID is really a multi-system disease, and that as much as COVID-19 is a respiratory disease affecting the lung predominantly, long COVID affects the brain in most patients seen at the center. The most common neurologic symptoms reported are brain fog, headache, muscle pain, uh, fatigue, and exercise intolerance affecting the quality of life of our patients and also their ability to work. We analyze the population of patients seen in the Comprehensive COVID Center, whether they were hospitalized or non-hospitalized for their acute COVID-19 presentation. And we saw that among those who were not hospitalized, the predominant uh, population was female in their 40s. We think that long COVID is a new autoimmune syndrome, which is caused by the virus SARS-CoV-2 to confuse the immune system that something is abnormal in the body that needs to be attacked. We know that women are more likely than men to develop other autoimmune diseases, such as multiple sclerosis, rheumatoid arthritis, and lupus, for example. And so it is not too surprising that women are also more likely to develop long COVID than men. Long COVID is not going away. We are seeing patients in our clinics who have the first, second, third, or fourth, fifth infection, despite vaccination and booster, and sometimes they develop long COVID symptoms along the way. And it is possible that more and more people will be affected by those symptoms. In addition, the virus continues to evolve, and different variants of the virus may cause different manifestations, and we need to be aware that uh, this is a possibility, and we need to continue to be willing and able to care for those patients.